Hi friends, uh, today I just plan to cover the topic Azure Private DNS. So what is the learning objective today we are planning to discussing? Define Azure Private DNS and VNet registration and relationship and demo how to create the private DNS in the Azure portal. So let's we will go for our learning objective. What is an Azure Private DNS? So I will just give a simple example, simple a disc a description. Azure Private DNS is a not public because you cannot be resolved from the public key. So Azure Private DNS provides a secure DNS service to manage and resolve the domain name in virtual network without need to add the custom domain. So now Azure Private DNS only will be resolved for the inside the virtual network without need to add the custom DNS solution. So Private DNS you can use the custom domain or Azure default provide domain. Private DNS you can make for your own custom domain and also you can create for your Azure will be provided for the default private DNS domain. So the, just we will go for one uh, simple diagram. I will explain you. So here you can see this one of the simple diagram. This VM need for db console.lab.com DNS. Okay. So this v virtual machine don't know where this db console.lab. But you can see this virtual machine will be placed in inside the virtual network okay so this is not in the publicly dom public place because public dns because this will only for the virtual in indiana dns because they are not connected with the internet. so just we will uh, the vm will be request where this db dot console dot lab the request will be coming for your private dns so this dns then this dns will be checking this db console dot lab will be available in the dns zone if it's available, they will respond back. If not available, they will again respond back. This will be not find in the DNS zone. So first, we, they will check in the record DNS zone. So they will find that they are already registered this one because this virtual machine already registered here the private DNS zone. So they return back, respond with the private IP to the VM. So after response will be received, now the VM know where this, this virtual machine will be located. So after that, they will be connected for the this virtual machine. So now you understand how to the db.console lab will be resolved because this your virtual meter you already registered this uh, db.console.lab in the Azure DNS private zone then the request will be coming they already know they will return back the request. So now you understand what is the simple example for how to we resolve the private DNS zone right. So private DNS zone are not resolvable from the internet. So very important, the private DNS is not connected with any communication with the internet. Private DNS work only from the virtual network that are linked. So I will show in the diagram, see this, this only my virtual network, the virtual network, whatever the virtual network linked with this one, only the private DNS will be resolved. So just we will go for next, we need registration and relationship. So how to we can register in our be in a virtual network in the private DNS. So what is the type we will explain. So first one VNet can only register in the one private network. So registration type you can register for automatically and you can register for manually. So what is automatic registration? Auto registration will mean the VM linked VNet automatically create the A record. So you don't want to create anything. Once you will only register for uh, your virtual network and you need to enable the auto registration the vm will be linked it is automatically create your a record example you have vm1 they will create for vm1 dot resort dot indiana and you have another vm but you don't want to add the record it's automatic vm2 dot resort dot com like this one the automatically they will add your record then the ip changes are automatically registered in dynamically ip address only very important example you have one virtual network in your inside one VM but this VM have the IP address is static so this IP address will not be registered in the virtual because only they will accept for the dynamically add the IP address and DNS on automatically removed VM record in case VM in case your VM will be deleted from the virtual network so what happened the record automatically updated and the record that VM record will be removed automatically from the your private DNS on. Next one, DNS record are created automatically only for the primary virtual machine NIC enable the DHCP. So means you have the one virtual uh, machine. So virtual machine have two NIC, but first NIC is the NIC should be DHCP enabled. If you have, I before told you, if you have the static, 
or you, if you manually enter the IP address, it will not be, the DNS record will not be update in the even private DNS, public, sorry, the, the private DNS. So next one, you can go for the manual research. Manual research, you have the full response to add the record and keep and accurate. So manual record override conflict automatic record means example you have primary you will add one private record for VM1 example virtual net you have one virtual net but this is automatically added but you you have another virtual net you are manually added but you will add the same IP address or something like this one uh, in the manually add the private DNS this will be override from the VM first VM so the record will be conflict. The IP changes not automatically reflect. If example you have virtual machine, uh, if your virtual machine will be change any IP address manually, this will not be updated in the private DNS record because you are adding your uh, VM manually. So you need to again edit your records. Manual record not automatically delete in, the, in case of VM deleted. Also, if your VM will be deleted, this record will not be updated in the manual record private dns because you are automatically add the record you should be delete and the record details from the your private dns so now you understand how to we can register we have register automatically and manually and automatically registration with full response for the dns private dns one if manually registration you will be the who is the user user will be the complete response so next we will go for our lab so what is the I am planning? I just am planning to create one private DNS one. The, my private DNS name is resourceskill.indainer. After that, I will link this virtual network private DNS zone auto register. So I will link with this private DNS zone to my private, sorry. Uh, I will link with my virtual network to my private DNS zone. Then after that, I will create uh, two virtual machine and, uh, and also I will enable for the uh, private and the registration line then we can see this uh, virtual machine will be automatic we will check that virtual machine will be automatically recorded with me add in the private DNS. hi friends now i reach our azure portal so i just go for my resource group then i will show you so here we need demo so here you can see one virtual network so i just create for my private dns for this resource group just click the marketplace then i will type here private dns so here you can see private dns so just click and create so i just click and create so what happened i just give the name for my internal private dns private demo dns dot index then i will click the next tag then review and create so just they will check the validation running for the final validation so just after that create so we are just uh, pause this video because it take little bit time so i will come back okay now we will check our demo decision yeah deployment is succeed so just i will go to my microsoft azure then i will just click my private dns so here you can see your private demo DNS already created. So just to go for here, you can we will check uh, check the overview. So here you can see the this DNS record is automatically created from the Azure port. So just we will go for our property. So here you can see the limitation number of records that you can have twenty five thousand and number of virtual network you can link with this private DNS only thousand. A number of virtual network link with auto registration is available or 100. This is a limitation for the private demo DNS. Okay, so just we will now go for virtual network link. So, what is our step? We just link our virtual network with this private DNS. Just click add. You can hear already our uh, virtual network VNet demo. So, we will just uh, link this VNet demo. Then we need to enable the auto registration. So what is our uh, link name? Vnet demo one. Okay. Then I know your resource ID. Then click OK. Now what happened? Your virtual network will be linked with this private DNS zone. So it take a little bit time more. So I just waiting for the 
I just wait for the completion. So I uh, see our uh, private demo DNS dot in the link virtual network link is completed. So now what happened? Our virtual network link will be linked with our private DNS. So, so just now I will do one thing. I just create one virtual machine and we need to check the our record will be updated or not because we are already enabled the auto restore. You just go for creating our overview. So you can hear no any record. Okay. So just we will create one virtual machine. Just click. So create one virtual machine. So then we will check for that virtual machine is automatically updated or no in our private DNS record. So just uh, select your resource group. We need demo one and VM one is the name. And you can East US availability soon if you need. We don't want availability soon. Then we don't want also trust standard only. Size is okay. So just uh, create the name. Then we need to enter the password. Okay. Then okay, RDP next disk. Okay. Ignore now. Then we will uh, go for our uh, image size. Let's go to network. Network what we will select our VNet virtual network. So we have already VNet demo. We will select that VNet demo already selected VNet one because we are already I see the virtual network there. Then, then we need to select our subnet 2007 and public. Okay, then basic and advanced next management. Then we will go for default settings tag next to review. So just uh, error from our validation so we will check what is the error so just i confirm eligibility windows 10 for ok so we are create so now you can see here you are uh, running validation is successful so just we will create so just click create so just waiting for our vm creation ok so just we will go for our uh, private DNS zone again. Just click your private DNS zone. We will check our overview. So here still not uh, register our uh, our because once the deployment will be completed we will check this automatically register for our private dns record okay so yeah. just to wait for the deployment will be completed okay yeah see here you can now refresh you can see one record will be added but uh, name is ppsvm because it will be updated you can see here 10 zero our value and the time so just to wait for the complete process because now our record will be updated so vm1 will be see now the vm1 will be updated in the record so because we already enabled the auto registration so just again refresh so just waiting for the completion of our virtual network so deployment is succeed see here deployment is succeeded and you can see here your record also automatically updated in our private dns dot internal record so just so you will go for our virtual mission so just to go for here okay so public ip address we receive and we will check our see here your private ip address is 10.0.1.1 so you can check your record also the same ip address or no just to go for checking your private DNS on see here you can see 10.0.1 for the same DNS record will be updated because you are automatically auto registration will be enabled so now if how many AVM you will be at this automatically registered from your record so I just go for delete my I will add another 
VM or delete. So just I will just go for our uh, virtual machine. See now it's running. I just create another virtual machine also. Select our resource group VN demo one and v VM two. Then is the US availability zone. Okay, just to go for availability zone. Then we will admin P. Then we will enter our password. Just enter our password again. P. Then I confirm. Then next disk. Then network already. We need to select our network. So we need to one demo and we will select also our subnet monitoring and review and create just waiting for the updation okay so just to click create so now initial deployment just we will again go for our private dns Just to go for private DNS again. Okay. Just to refresh. Just waiting for them because still not deployed complete. Deploy in progress. Our resource is completed deployment. You can see here VM to record automatically update. So now you understand how to the automatically registered the VM will be linked with you no need to add the record because the code will be automatically updated in the system. So just we will delete one of our VM we need to check the record automatically delete from the resource group. Just you will go for your uh, Microsoft Azure and virtual machine then we will delete one one virtual so we just create just click delete let to force to delete confirm delete so we executed the delete command for the delete one of the virtual machine so after that we will check that uh, virtual machine record already removed just you will go for our private virtual machine just to go for here just to wait for the completion of delete our virtual machine so just to refresh yeah see now you can see here your the vm2 record will be delete from the our private dns demo dns so now you understand how to add the uh, virtual network link to our private DNS and how to we can register the auto registration. So I think you can understand how to we can we can add our private DNS. So I just to wind up my talk. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you so much.